Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Here's a bit more help from us to you. 5.5 break even analysis. Hopefully this is useful. We seem to get lots of views on our other videos. Don't forget to check those out as well and subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys. We have tracked through the syllabus and identified all the knowledge elements you need to know for break even analysis. Starting point is understanding contribution. Keep it simple, contribution is simply the money earned from a business activity that contributes to paying the fixed costs and producing a profit for the business. So make sure you can define it. Then what's the difference between total and contribution per unit? Fairly straightforward, just remember the formula. Drawing your break even chart is fairly simple if you follow the four steps. Now have a read through the four steps, then we'll look at a break even chart in more detail and I'll go through the construction with you. The starting point for drawing the chart is identifying the values G and I. G will be the sales level or the maximum output level, whichever figure is higher. I is just the sales multiplied by the selling price per unit, i.e. G times selling price per unit gives you I. Once you have the axes value, then draw your fixed cost line, which is HD. Things to watch out for in exam questions, they may give you total fixed cost, they may give you fixed cost per unit, but obviously you're looking at total fixed cost. So HD is a horizontal line and stops at point G. So once you identify your total fixed cost, plot point H, draw a straight line, horizontal straight line. Then put in the total revenue line, 45 degrees from the origins point B. Now all point B actually is, if you go vertically up from G, where it would intersect with I. So at point G, that's the revenue and the output level. Start at the origin, you have two points, you can draw a straight line. Now a point we've already mentioned is always, always, always work out the break even point because the total cost line at C is easy. It will start at point H and will end at C. And we'll go through A. Why A is the break even point? Now, other areas students have problems with is profit and loss. Excuse me. <coughs> to the right of E, the G, i.e., the triangle ABC, that's profit. Now, they could ask you to calculate the profit using the chart at different output levels. So just plot the points on the x-axis, go vertically up, and it's a vertical distance between the total revenue, total cost line. So to the right of A is profit, to the left of A is loss, and you can calculate profit or loss. You just read the value, it's the vertical distance between the two lines from there. Now, margin of safety, that's E to G. Now we're assuming here G is your current sales level because the margin of safety is the amount by which your sales can fall from its current level. If it was the maximum output level at G uh, inside between E and G, you would have the current sales level to work on. So, you know, normally you have current sales as G. Just read the question carefully. But that is where the technique is used for planning. If you're at G at the moment, you can calculate the amount of profit. It's the distance between B and C. And you just draw horizontal lines across to the y-axis and read the distance between them. That's the amount of current profit. Then you can forecast, it's called scenario planning. If sales drop by 10%, what would your profit drop to? If you started making a loss, what would the size of that loss be? Then from that point of view, how long could you cope with making a loss? Do not make this difficult. Honestly, you know, practice, 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 draw the charts, follow the steps and the interpretation and life should be fairly straightforward, hopefully. You need to be able to evaluate break even analysis in terms of advantages and drawbacks. Now on the advantages side, the reason for its use is the scenario planning we've already mentioned. You can look at what happens if sales go up, sales go down. You know, external shocks, economic, political, 
social, etc. Now, if this is coming our way as a business, this will likely to hit us how. What's that going to do is profits, losses, costs, revenues, etc. Now, if you use the chart, you can then draw up contingency plans and that minimizes the risk of business failure because you're prepared for the scenario if it occurs and you know what you're going to do to basically try and stay alive as a business in the short, medium to longer term. Techniques easy to calculate and interpret. We'll move on to the formula. Can be used to motivate staff and entrepreneurs identifying sales targets. So purely to break even. For example, if you're a new startup, you know, objective normally for a new startup, year one is to survive, if possible, break even by the end of the first year. But it gives you a target to work towards. So again, smart targets that could motivate staff. Or you have target profit. Again, I'm going to move on to that. This is a way of which you could have an individual business unit and you can set a target profit. Now, for the managers of that individual business, they can then use a formula to work out what they need to produce and sell to actually hit that target. So linking motivation to linking smart targets. On drawback side, and the technique is unrealistic, it seems everything you produce is sold. Now we know from business that is unrealistic. There's very few businesses or very limited opportunities where you know whatever you produce will be sold automatically. Linear relationships, straight line relationships, again unrealistic. There could be external events, cause costs to change, revenues to change, etc. So that linear relationship is allowing you to plan, make decisions on not perfect information. Also, the technique has limited use. Most businesses are multi-product firms. So are you going to be drawing break-even charts for every product you've got? Think about the time. Think about accessing information. Think about the skills of the individuals to actually construct and calculate the break-even charts. I'm going to move on to just a review of target profit, the formula, etc., just to finish off. Now, it's great that you can carry out all of the calculations with break-even analysis. You can draw the charts, you can manipulate the charts. Do not forget you have to be able to evaluate. So here's a few valuation pointers for break-even analysis. Constant costs, you're assuming linear relationships. It's lines of best fit. Okay, you know, Fixed costs can actually change. They do not stay the same over a specific period of time. They can actually change over that period of time. Think about new technologies. Think about impacts on variable costs. Okay. If you plotted the diagram, it is actually a line of best fit, uh, particularly the total cost line, etc. Look at external factors. The world is a very unstable place at the moment. Look at the impact on COVID. Okay. Look at the impact on the various uh, conflicts that are in the world and how they're impacting economically in the world. Look at political ideologies, who's coming forward. Okay, So please do not forget to use your evaluation factors. Mm. Complication, target profit. Break-even analysis is used to plan and can be used as part of your decision making. Once you identify your break-even point, it's the point at which total revenue equals total cost, no profit or loss is made. Then you can plan for forecast sales levels, forecast losses, forecast profits, etc. So know your basic break even formula. Fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Now, moving on from there, the target profit, this is where the technique becomes far more useful. So if you want to set a division of your business, a target profit to work towards, say be $2 million. The business can then rearrange the formula to work out how many units they need to produce and sell to hit that target profit figure. So again, useful in terms of senior management setting targets to increase performance, useful for the individuals on receiving ends of those targets to work out exactly what they need to do to hit the targets. So make sure you understand what target profit is, what target price is, um, and how break even can actually be used just from the basics of zero profit, zero loss to actually use as a tool to actually increase performance and manage your business more effectively. Hopefully, this is useful. 
keep watching our channel. More revision materials will be uploaded as we go. Thanks, guys, for the moment. Now, here, hopefully, this is useful for you to look at how target profit and target price are actually calculated. Uh, it's simply just rearranging formula. If you know your formula, put in what you actually know and you're finding a missing figure. So run through the numbers just to basically check them and just confirm that you're confident. Because again, I think particularly paper two under the new regime, and they're looking at quantitative, lots and lots of numbers. So this will be an easy, easy ambush for them. Thank you. Now, manipulation of the charts. Okay, on the syllabus, what you've got coming up in the rest of this video, you'll see the various scenarios they could actually use to ask you to manipulate the charts. So if you have a change in price, price increases, price decreases, okay, you'll change this, you know, the steepness, using the most unmathematical term possible, the gradient, should be more technical there. Uh, and all that will actually do will have an impact on the break even point. So go back to what we said earlier, how to draw the break even chart. Then if they give you the scenario now the price has actually changed what's the impact on break even just follow the same procedure plot the new total revenue line and then just read the chart okay for output levels okay and price levels etc so it's not complicated do not panic about it okay you're just changing the gradient of the line now similarly if you have an increase in fixed costs what happens the fixed cost line goes up Okay, and what happens to total cost and what happens to break even point? Okay, so again, relatively simple. Do not panic about this. Okay, look at the chart, just follow it through. You go from FC to FC1. Okay, therefore that's going to move the total cost line from TC to TC1. And just follow your same procedures as you had before. If you have a new fixed cost, calculate the new break even point and you can plot the total cost line easily following what we've said. Okay, last possible scenario. Again, nothing complicated. Increase in variable cost. What's happened to the total cost line? Look at the weight pivots and look at the impact on the break even point. Now, all of those three scenarios are potentially you've drawn the diagram and then they say, you know, fixed cost, variable cost, or price has changed. Okay, calculate the new break even point. You simply just draw the new line and all lines as shown here. Okay, so do not panic. Now, hopefully, this is useful for you. Um, please look at our other videos, how useful they can actually be for you, and also subscribe to our channel. So, our hits seem to be going up, so I think we must be doing something correct. Now, hopefully, you'll agree that as well when you watch them. Thank you.